Hello and welcome back to Drama Investigator. Today we're going to investigate Jaclyn Hill, finally admitting her affiliates that she never discloses, people coming for Nash Greer and his partner for allegedly being anti-vaxxers, and issues surrounding Tana Mojo's new uncensored OnlyFans. So let's get into this juicy investigation. So who's really surprised with Jaclyn Hill exposing herself on her Instagram story? We all knew the tea. The internet came through with the receipts, but her stands needed to hear it for themselves. No one's got an issue with Jaclyn earning money off affiliate links. People only have an issue with her not being transparent by not disclosing her affiliates or sponsorships. She recently dragged people who questioned her affiliate earnings and exposed herself in the process. First, she had leaked a DM from a fan talking about a supplement product she had recently talked about slash promoted. The fan had said, I knew it, lol. You're going to post a link now where you can get money from it. Classic. Oh my god, I was wrong. Wow, sorry, I apologise. Jacqueline has said, this is getting so old. So let's rewind to yesterday. Jacqueline was subtly mentioning a supplement product she was testing out, and for some reason, people believed that this product had something to do with the notorious Morphe. I did my makeup for absolutely no reason. So I was testing, well, there was reason. I was testing out products. Look at my roots, you guys. Look at how fast my hair is growing. That's mine in four weeks. Is that not crazy? I swear, the supplements that I'm on are making my hair grow like weed because that's the only thing I can think of, but this glam. Disgusting! Now the issue once again doesn't lie in the fact that Jacqueline is promoting Morphe products, or any products at all for that matter. People just know for a fact she won't be disclosing her affiliate links when she eventually promotes the product. So fast forward to today, Jacqueline went off on her Instagram story. She came for people questioning why she doesn't disclose her affiliate links. And she completely missed the point by the way, by basically stating that people have an issue with her making money online. Uh, no Jacqueline. Girl, read your comments before you make yourself look like a fool. Also, I just have to add really quickly to what I just posted because I get these DMs every single day and don't even get me started on Twitter. If you have a problem with people making money on social media, then you should unfollow every single blogger, every single influencer that you follow, and then maybe just delete the Instagram app as a whole because that is where we're at as a society. Like people go to social media and start accounts to make money because they know they're good at something and they want to profit off of their passion and off of their talent. That's what people do. I am not an exception. I talk about things constantly without any links, any payment whatsoever. I don't take sponsorships, that's just who I am. I'm not against them. I just personally don't take them. But yeah, absolutely. I have an affiliation with Amazon through like to know it reward style. Absolutely. I've talked about this my whole entire career. Yes, this is how I make money. This is what I do. I do it because I love it and I get to make money. This is this is the life. If you got a problem with that, you, like I was saying, if you have a problem with that, you can unfollow me and everybody else on social media. This is what A-list celebrities are doing, and this is what people with, you know, two, three thousand followers are doing, you know, discount codes, all that. It's all it's all a business, you guys. That's what it is. And I'm not saying this over here because I'm like pissy about it. I'm saying this because there's no end to the amount of money that you can make. It doesn't matter if you're sitting at home making $20,000 a year. If you're good at something and you're talented at something and you want to share it with the world, get your ass on social media and start doing it. Like you can do this too. There's enough room for everybody to have success and everybody to have growth. If you're going to sit around being pissy about it, then unfollow and delete the app. But this is where we're at as a society. Like social media is changing lives and it's feeding people. Like it's, it's amazing. So like, you know, I'm passionate about it because it changed my life and I'm able to take care of so many people because of social media and I'm so grateful for that. So if you're gonna be hateful about it, then run with it, you know, make a business out of it because it's not like there's only a certain amount of money in the world and that's all we get as society. It's like you can literally, you can make billions of dollars. Like there's no end to it. So instead of being fussy about it, figure it out and do it for yourself. This is where we're at, adapt and make it work, bitch. I'll support you. That's it, I'm done. I like kind of got like carried away there, but um, yeah, seriously, you guys, that's just the way I view things. Like with all my friends, you know, and people that I spend face-to-face -face time with, I'm always encouraging them. Like if there's something that you're good at, like, and I love these so much, and I'm gonna post a link for you guys for these markers on Amazon, and yes, it is an affiliate link. I think I might just be in the mood to piss people off right now. I'm not sure. So go ahead, support your girl, and swipe up. No! 
So yeah, Jacqueline completely missed the point Hill, had then got all deep and meaningful with her fans, thanking them for sticking by her side through thick and thin, or as I like to say, through hair and bacteria. Yeah, I just want to jump on here and just say how appreciative I am of you guys and your kindness and sticking by me, you know, through the good times, bad times, and the worst times, and all of the comments on the most recent video just kind of like took me back to the beginning of my career and just brought me so much happiness and excitement and i know that so many of you guys have noticed because i've been seeing all the comments and dms and you know so on but i have just i have refallen in love with you guys and with my social media platform not even social media but just you guys and the friendship you know and I've been in my DMs so much more and in my comment section so much more and just so many things have happened in my life recently to put things in perspective and I'm not just talking about like scandals and bad business decisions that I've made and fuck ups I'm talking about things in my personal life so many things have happened where I've it's just really changed my outlook on life and after all that you guys have still been here and I'm so grateful Yes, well, we won't be here for much longer with your foul attitude, Miss Jacqueline completely missed the point, Hill. Coming for your fans who simply want to know why you don't disclose your affiliate links and profit off all of us without our knowledge. Uh-oh. Oh my god, we have another case of the anti-vaxxer influencer, allegedly. For some reason, fans of Nash Greer and his fiance Taylor seem to believe the pair who recently had their first child are anti-vaxxers. Um, what the heck? Now, I want to make this clear. This might all just be conspiracy. Well, that's what I was hoping, but there are however Twitter receipts that some former fans have dug up. Firstly, let's investigate a stream of tweets from a former fan who initially brought the subject to light. Anyway, while Taylor was pregnant, she did a live where someone asked if their child would be vaccinated. She replied with some dumb comments saying something like, I have a measles vaccine and I can still get measles. What brought this to my attention was some comments on Nash's most recent vlog. A user named Caitlin put a comment asking for them to reconsider vaccinating their child under any comment that Nash pinned. And when she did, he unpinned the comment and pinned another. Eventually she kept commenting under any pinned comment, and he would unpin it and pin another. I think he did this like three times. Here's what Caitlin had to say. Well first, Nash keeps unpinning the comment, I comment this under. His current pinned is his third pinned comment. Not sure how often he pins comments in general, but that's pretty fishy. He doesn't want people to see it. If it wasn't true, then he could simply address it, since it's a pretty serious matter, and they are influencers in the public eye. But they're avoiding it because they know they'll receive extreme backlash and lose a bunch of followers. And then second, more reliable speculation. Taylor did a live stream once while she was pregnant and everyone was asking if they were going to vaccinate their baby. And Taylor said, everybody is asking as if I'm going to comment on that. Look guys, I got the measles vaccine as a baby, but I can still get measles. So. And then they quickly ended the live. That's basically confirming it. I don't think a lot of people caught it though. But no Taylor, you can't still get measles. And if you do, super rare chance. Your vaccine will save you since you've built immunity. And last, they mention Malachi doesn't have a birth certificate in one of their blogs. He's undocumented. If they got him vaccinated, then he would have a certificate. The doctor would ask for one. He would have immunization records. He wouldn't be undocumented. It's pretty upsetting how misinformed they are, if it's true. They probably won't even get the coronavirus vaccine when it comes out, which is the whole reason why this world is in quarantine right now. No one has immunity. I love that they're vegan and trying to be zero waste. All that is great. But anti-vax is a dangerous movement, and I hope they realize it. Sad stuff. Now the former fan had continued her thread on Twitter. I believe that's all she had. On some vlogs, they seem to take their child to see a doctor, but the doctors seem like flukes in my opinion. They seem to be a doctor that advocates for the same things as Taylor and Ash, and I don't know how legit they are. I'll find a vid to post to them later in this thread. And then a former fan had dug out these tweets from 2016 from Taylor's Twitter. Someone had asked her, are you anti-vaccine? She had responded, yeah, such hard decisions. I just want to do the right thing. Taylor had then responded to another fan saying, no to vaccines as well. What are your thoughts on all this? Let me know in the comments. Guys, Tana Mojo might be beating Trisha Paytas soon in the OnlyFans Olympics. Trisha Paytas is the top creator and highest earner on the lucrative platform OnlyFans. Tana Mojo caught on to this and she wants a piece of that bag, honey. So OnlyFans is basically an 18 plus adult website where most users post raunchy photos and videos. And by the way Tana had marketed her OnlyFans, heaps of people thought that they were going to buy access to super exclusive content, if you get what I mean. But apparently that was not the case at all. Fans are really not impressed with her content, and people started going off on Twitter. Tana Mojo's OnlyFans is a scam, lol. She literally charges for under and bikini pics that can easily be on Instagram. Save your money, or support actual 
workers. Tina Mojo's OnlyFans is not worth the money. I love her to death and this was a great concept but from what I've seen it's a scam and the content would have made more waves for free on Instagram or here. LOL, Tina Mojo is using OnlyFans to scam her customers and to be honest I'm tired AF of these influencers using OnlyFans to take more money from their fans and at the same time giving OnlyFans and workers a bad rep. So Tana's content is apparently tame and within the OnlyFans membership that's $5 you have to pay $44 to see exclusive videos she makes which isn't really worth it in my opinion. Like there's heaps of other workers on that site who would really benefit from people subscribing to their memberships and they offer a lot more for such a smaller price. Tana already makes millions off YouTube and all her other social media so why does she need to trick her fans into the scam? just to make more bank. Okay so let's work out the estimate of what Tana is currently making on her OnlyFans. OnlyFans has a how it works tab on their site where it gives you an estimate based on the amount of followers you have, how much money you could be making a month. So Tana has 5 million plus followers on Instagram and this bar only goes up to 1 million so we're going to have to do some math here. 1% is the estimated amount of your followers who will buy your OnlyFans membership. So if 1% of 1 million people bought Tana's uncensored OnlyFans for $5 a month she'd be making between 50 grand to 250 grand a month. Now time set by 5 and Tana is currently estimated to be making between 250 grand to 1.25 million a month off her OnlyFans. I am shooketh and she's not even posting the raunchy raunchy content she promised. And this is all according to her fans who have bought the $5 a month membership. Wow. What are your thoughts on all this drama? Let me know in the comments. That's all for this investigation. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. My social media will be linked down below and I'll see you guys in our next investigation.